in graphics not only pictures we have clip arts and some other options now i am selecting clip art under searching we have to select these options that where we have to search next we have result should be here we have to select or deselect file types like clip art photographs movies sounds and then click on go button now it will shows a list of pictures next we have to click on the picture that which we want and then it will display in the document now i am closing this clip art we can also apply all format settings to the clip art which we done for the pictures and it will have same options for both clip arts and pictures if you want to remove the picture then select that picture and press delete button in illustration group we have shapes and it is used when we arrange the documents based on our requirements here we can see different types of shapes like lines basic shapes block arrows flow chart call outs stars and banners now i am selecting this symbol we have different types of settings for this symbol if we click and drag the yellow point then its shape will change and if we click and drag the green point then it will rotate the shape again if we want we can insert a new shape also and we have some other options like fill colors shape outline and change shape next one is shadow effect with the help of this option we can place shadows for selected symbols and we can also give different types of 3d effects for the symbols next one is position with the help of this option we can place the selected object on the required position and these two options are used to bring the object to front or back now i am selecting this object and click on bring to front option now it comes to front in same way we can also set text wrapping now i am typing some text here for this symbol i am selecting behind text in text wrapping option now the symbol is behind the text if we select in front of the text option then the text will placed behind the symbol like this we can give different types of wrapping styles next option is smart art here we can see different types of graphic styles in the form of diagrams now i am selecting this one and here we have to type the text with the help of this option we can add a shape before or after the selected shape and we can also set layouts colors etc in same way we have different types of diagrams in smart art for example we can use this type of diagrams to display cyclic information here we can type the text in cyclic form we can also increase the size of the shape or we can set colors or we can remove the shapes like this we can give different types of adjustments for the smart arts
Next one is charts. When we click on this option, we can see different types of charts like line chart, pie chart, etc. And we can see its subtype also. Now I am selecting one of the subtype under column chart. To create chart, we should have data. Here we can see the data in Excel sheet. Now I have to change this information. So I am giving student's name and subjects. Here we can observe that the chart is changed according to the data. We can see the student marks in Telugu, English and social in chart form. And we can change the chart type also. We have to select chart type according to the data. In next sessions, we will learn clearly about charts. This option is used to select the data and this option is used to edit the existing data. Like this we can use different types of charts.